Hey, fish fans, this is Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson here with the boys from Salt Strong, Joe and Luke. And we're in downtown Ala Mirada, getting ready to see if we can catch a tarpon on the good old fashioned dead bait. So you see tarpon fishing springtime is a big deal in the Keys. We fish them live bait, dead bait, frozen bait, fly rod, jig. You can catch them a lot of different ways. So live bait everybody likes, but everybody likes the dead bait too. So this time of year, fresh mullets, butterflied up, put on the bottom in a lot of these deeper channels around town, especially during the midday hours in the high sun time, is a great way to catch a tarpon. Now, not only do you catch a tarpon, but you got a fresh bait on the bottom, you're liable to catch sawfish, which is a pretty cool creature if you've never seen one, goliath grouper, different types of sharks, even a giant stingray. So when you're in the charter business and you're trying to get bites and catch different things, a lot of what we call sea monsters, fresh dead mullet on the bottom is one of the best baits to get it done. So we talk about how we butterfly a bait. So we have fresh mullet here on the good old Yeti cutting board. All right, everyday mullet. So you're gonna start up here in the back and you come right up along the backbone almost like you were filleting it backwards. Sharp knife always comes in handy. This is a new blade from Gerber. Okay, so you see how I'm, I'm taking out this backbone and all the roads and stuff. So what that does for you here, what we call butterfly, you can see how nice and soft that is. It's fresh, it's oily, it's stinky, all the right things for fish to pick up the smell and the current, but taking that bone and tail out of the way makes a bait of that size much easier to eat for your predator. So in comes the ADOT circle hook by owner, inline circle hook, 100 pound Andy leader, ounce lead. And you take this bait here and you hook it up both lips up through the middle of the head. You want the hook in the bone so that it helps stays on like that. So this bait is gonna lay on this bottom it's gonna smell, it's gonna stink, it's gonna do its thing. And as this tide is pushing, it takes this smell and it broadcasts all over this area. So all of your creatures, predators, big fish, like I say, tarpons, groupers, sharks, stingray, sawfish, even a big jack crevel, even a big barracuda, they all can't wait to eat a bait like that. And we're out here in 10 feet of water, downtown Ala Mirada, what we call a butterfly mullet on a knocker rig, if you will. And uh, stay tuned, let's see what we catch. So when you go to cast this big bait out, remember, you can't go whipping this like the old Slam Shady. So you're gonna lob this cast, downwind, down current, you're gonna get it to the bottom, and you're gonna fish it with what we call the reel locked up. So it will not be in free spool, it will be bail closed, and it'll be drag set and ready for the bite. When you fish the big circle hook, there's no hook set. You leave the rod in the rod holder. When you get the bite, it's gonna come tight and you're gonna know. So you don't need to hold it and you don't need to waffle the big bass hook set on it, okay? So remember, drag's locked up, bail closed, in the rod holder, let the rod holder do the work. We call it fishing with Rodney. All right, so now we're gonna cast this big giant bait. And like I said, you can't go whipping it like the big slam shady. So it's an underhand lob, nice and easy, and you let it go. Soon as it hits the water, you stop that line and give it a chance to sink to the bottom. You're gonna fish it on a tight line. You don't want any slack in there. Set your drag, we're gonna be probably around nine, maybe 10 pounds on the 30, okay? Line's tight, bait's on the bottom. In the rod holder it goes. Even this gets bit, there's no nibbles in big fish world, okay? This gets bit, even Joe's gonna know. All right, so stay tuned, let's see if we get a bite. Hey, so while we're sitting here soaking our dead baits on the bottom to increase our chances of getting bite, we're gonna add a live one with a cork and we're gonna put it out behind the dead baits. And the reason for the cork is to keep that bait where we can always see it and just to make sure that it doesn't get tangled among our dead bait that are on the bottom, okay? We're in 10, 11 feet of water, so I can get away with two fresh dead baits on the bottom, fresh live mullet going out, a little quirk to keep him honest and up high, and that's just gonna put one more bait in the water for us to help us get a bite today. That way he doesn't swim down to the bottom and get tangled. There's your nurse shark. Eat it. <laughs> 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 
playing with it. Yeah. Get off there. Hey, all right, Luke, you're hooked up. Let's see what creature you got. I don't think it's our tarpon, but it ate the fresh dead bait. We're gonna find out. We're on the 30 pound gear here. Let's see what you got, another big jack? It is. So who would have thought that a jack would eat a big fresh dead bait? But like I said earlier, that's it. Whoop, he just let him go. Quick release. All right, quick release. That was chewed up pretty good. Can't beat fresh mullet. All right, circle hook, one ounce egg sinker, 100 pound leader, going right back to it. Live now. Hey, we're hooked up. Let's see what we got. That's a pretty good bite. I don't know if it's our tarpon, but we're gonna find out here shortly. Doesn't seem to be on the jump. Not a jumper. Yep, just go around the well. We'll send this bait back out. Like, just like the other one. Oh, it could very well be another big jackervel. Let's see what we got. It is too, look at that. Another big jackervel on the fresh dead mullet. Here we go, right in the corner of the mouth. Circle hook. Hey, so remember when you're gonna release fish, always head first, gives them a run and start, gets them going in the water, gets the oxygen through the gills. Off you go. Thank you, Mr. Jack. We appreciate you. All right, right back to it. Just came off the anchor. Luke's got a big fish on. We're gonna, Luke, we're gonna get you to the front of the boat here, my man. We come off that quick release anchor. We gotta chase these fish. There's just too many obstacles in the world we live in. So wine, 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 Luke. Between lobster traps, crab traps, jet skis, markers, poles, trash in the bottom. Boaters, we don't ever let the fish get too far away. So this guy made a bad turn and went up here where it's shallow. So he's gonna have to come off this flat here and, and probably make a beeline for the deep. All right, so just kinda watch what this fish does. He's gonna come off the edge of this flat and go deep. We got the bridge here to your left. Good chance he's probably gonna head for the bridge and if he does, we're gonna be right on his tail. Keep winding. Woo! Smooth drag, you let it go. What do you got? He's been, okay. Okay, yep, just do your thing. We gotta watch our own anchor rope, actually. The fish did a full 360. Woo! Nice. Wind down and watch that trolling motor around the front. If he goes around, you go around the front. Nice job there. Just so, uh, yep, you can. He's pulling hard. You wind down and put that knot in the top of the rod if you can. <clears throat> when he's ready. Nice work. That's what we're after. And this bite also here was in the middle of the day for all the time they tell you you can't catch them in the middle of the day. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and we're hooked up. There you go, just take your time. Be ready for the close jump again. Yeah, wind down to him, lift the parallel as high as you go. Get ready for the little jump there. They fight so hard, they get that head turned down. That tarpon is amazing. There you go, that's as high as you go, my man, right there, wind down. All right, you got the leader in the top. That's a caught fish, nice. Fight him a little bit, and then we'll put some hands on him and let him go. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay. Hooked right in the corner. Keep going, keep going, stay up there, stay up there, stay up there, Wind, winding right to me. You're more concerned about keeping that head up. If he gets that head turned down, he's gonna beat you. If you get that head up, wind and go after it and get that head up. That's what you need. That head stays up, he's up. If he gets that head down, he'll beat you. 
One thing about that, folks, that tarpon is strong and he does not quit. If you ever get his head up, you got to do all you can to take advantage of it and keep it up because we just got beat there. He got that head turn, took Luke for a push, and now he's 50 yards from the boat again. So, <clears throat> anytime you get that head up, you got to keep it up. They are so strong. Wind down and lift up. As high as you need to go. Beautiful. <clears throat> wind down, get that head up, go all the way to him. Wind all the way down and lift. Right there, stop. That's as high as you go, couple cranks and go down. So wind down to it. The rod should never break parallel when you're straight up and down on a fish. Wind down, wind down from there. Just a couple turns is all you want. Keep going, keep going, wind all the way to him. Keep the head up, right there, nice. Just let him unwrap. And if he goes under, you go around the front. Go around the front, all the way around. Reach. Beautiful. Nice move. There you go. Head up. Keep it up. Okay, now if you can, walk him around the other side because the wind's blowing us away. But if not... Nice. <clears throat> Feel him pull that boat around? Nice move going around the front. Most people panic and they want to run to the back and they don't realize the shortcut is to take the rod and go under the nose of the boat. I got it, I got it, we're here. We're gonna spin this right around. Right there, stop, that's as high as you go. You wind from there, stop, that's it. That's your strongest lifting point right there, parallel. <clears throat> that fish, we're out here in 10 feet of water, that fish goes to the bottom, they're so strong. See, that trying to just get that head. They never quit. They tarpon just never quit. We want that head up one more time. Come on up here, fish. Heads up, got him. Look at there. Here we go, boys and girls. Look at that. Beautiful. Hooked right in the corner there on the circle hook. You guys can see that. Well done, dude. Easy killer. Open that mouth. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I love to get my glasses wet. Right in there. That is a fish right there, folks. Yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful. Okay, fish gonna be around 100 pounds. Get in there. Reach over with me before I let him go here. Get in there, woo! All right, now we're gonna release him. So you go up to the front there, we're gonna put the boat in gear. You hang on to him, okay? What we're trying to do here, gang, is just drag him, let him relax. Let it get some line, uh, water through the gills there. Let it just get together before we let them go. It's, oh, and there he goes. Swims off nice, a chance to just regroup. It's very important to always protect the fishery. You see all the videos and things about the sharks eating them and, and letting the tired fish go, they sink to the bottom. So as stewards of the industry, and as much as we respect the tarpon, we do our best to make sure we let them go in the best shape we can. Nice job, my man, that's what you were after. Good work. All right, back to, we talked about our uh, quick release anchor. It's a quarter of a mile from here, and we're headed that way to go get it and set right back up and do it again. So here we are, like we talked about today, downtown Alamorada, dead bait fishing for tarpon, live bait fishing for tarpon. If you have any questions on how to tarpon fish around town, how to use those baits, you can always reach us on saltstrong.com and floridakeysfunfishing.com. Captain Hollywood here for you, and uh, go fish. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do this through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.